Hello, good morning. This is M Creatives once again. Today, I'd like to show you how to create MTN logo. MTN logo. So, let's get started. Pardon me for my voice, I just woke up from bed and I feel like doing this. So, yes, so this is what we'll be creating. Uh, in this, we'll be using rectangle tool, ellipse tool sometimes shape tools or freehand tools and then the text tool so let's get started i hope you've opened your crawl draw document what we will do first is we will create a rectangle for the background so the rectangle if you want to remove the outline the black the outer line surrounding the yellow you right click on the none tool or remove and the outline is gone you want to give it an outline with another color or different color you right click on the color so just remember you select the the, the shape first just remember right click is for outlines right click is for outline so when you right click here you remove the outline normal click is for the filling okay now there is an oval in it so to draw an oval you pick the ellipse tool you know the rectangle and the oval tool one thing about them is when you want to draw a perfect circle or perfect square you press control while drawing and everything will be perfect when you press control everything will be perfect but you, when you don't you can create an oval to any directions you want so this one we will like to create an oval something like this to fit in the rectangle i think this one will be okay let's insert it and see uh, it's a little wider okay i think a rectangle fits now we select the oval then we color it with deep blue so i'm going to use this color now remove the outline let me center it a little bit okay um i'll use the zoom tool to zoom to the left so that i can drag the oval to touch the rectangle wall I'll scroll to the right side too. Okay then. I think now all the sides are touching. Now the next thing we have is the road empty in it slanted with M and the end painted white but the T is painted yellow at the top and a little red dot at the down. So this is what we are gonna do you use the test tool which is the a here you click on it then click on the paper and we type empty and all in caps you use the pick tool you can click at the diagonal side to increase the size or you can even select the size from from the font size drop out box drop down box sorry no, we drag the empty to fit into the box. Let's make it bold a little, and then slant. That'll be italics. Okay, so you have this, and they are all painted white. Now, sorry for that. Oh, uh, like I said, you have to paint the T yellow, and then the down red. How are we going to do that? first one way is we can as we are typing the MTN we could have just typed maybe M separate we click on a different side T separate and different side N separate so that when we bring them together let me make it a little bigger for you as we type them separate so when we bring them together we can 
format them individual maybe this one being this this and then this the yellow color right so this one way we can you can do it and then you bring them together and apply all the things you want but yes still we can still separate these ones so when you type something you can go to arrange break artistic test it will break down for you and what this does is everything will be in line aligning with the same formatting and like this one you have to come and realign and put them together okay so with this this one is in white already this one is in white already now this one have to be in yellow to do that let's try and draw a little line which we use to cut the T. Let's color the T to a different color. Let's say ash. The T to ash. And then let's bring it down. Now let's use this to cut the T. We put it on it. We select. We drag around both the T and then the shape. Now we select trim to this cuts out a portion of an object by using the shape of another object so when you click on this it cuts out this place using this shape do you get it now let's delete this now still we have it but when you color it now it will still color everything so you have to separate this the down from the top to do that you click on break apart shortcut is control k when you click this now the box is in on its own and then the t is on its own and then the down let's color it red now voila we are done you can now bring the t back to join the group so here we are mtn if this you can export it to jpeg picture format or anything thanks for watching remember to subscribe and rate my video thanks for watching bye bye